I have to say is wow. So I'm at the end of Sausalito. If you follow this road, it winds up and around and goes to the Golden Gate Bridge. And so these are the Sausalito, I don't know, I'm going to call them the Sausalito Hills. So the nice part, well this is actually very nice, these homes are freaking awesome. The nice part of Sausalito, I should say the restaurants, it's about a mile, this is a long winding road, but you know, maybe I'll walk around. Coast Guard boat. A little one, a big one. I'm sure they can still kick your ass. That's what, that's what the Coast Guard does. And that right there is Angel Island. Um, one time I was driving across the Golden Gate Bridge. Now the Golden Gate Bridge is on the other side, but you can see it. You can see the freaking smoke because the other half of the island got burnt. Or you can see the fires when it was at night time. That's Treasure Island right there. So there's this walkway down here, but when the tide comes high, you can't, unless you want to get wet, uh, it comes up pretty high and it crashes on here. So I wouldn't, because the water is so cold. But right now, the temperature is warm, but I would say it's getting close to 80. So, so it's going to be our first really warm day of the year, which I am just enthusiastic about, because you know me. I love global warming. Global warming, I think, is an advanced humanity. It gives you energy and all kinds of good stuff. Meaning, I really just love the sun. I love the heat. I love it. I love beaches. I love the sun. I love the ocean. I pretty much love life. I'll tell you something right now that's going on with me in my life. That's going on with me in my life. I'm very content. Sorry if the wind's, the wind's probably blowing. Let me try to block it. So I'm very content with life right now. I'm just, uh, things have been going really good for a while now. I'm very happy with it. If any of you are experts, like getting more traffic and you know more I don't know what the word is like marketing uh get a hold of me give me some tips I'd like I really appreciate that okay it's got to be solid on here kind of sort of it's got to be something you know you can do you know stuff like that so I'm always looking for doing this by the way check out these houses freaking awesome isn't it let me zoom in or zoom out I don't you know what it's my first time using my camera so I don't know if this is a better view it's going to come out on YouTube. I actually like the review on my camera. So we'll see. Yeah, I like this one. Say hello to the kayaker. I think that's a whale. It's got to be. down here whoa that's a hard drop the only thing about Sausalito is it gets cold at night a lot even in the summer like cold cold so that's one reason I wouldn't want to live here but it's fun there's you get a lot of tourists here like a ton of tourists like constantly year round Hello. Hi, baby. And that right there is the Trident. And Skomas is right past it. Great fish restaurant, Skomas. We have two. We have one also in the. Uh, I can't remember the name of that restaurant. Skomas right here. Put them in at least two videos in the past, it was like a year, two, three, four years ago. But yeah, I've, I've eaten there a few times, it's pretty good fish. You know, I whenever I go to Hawaii, my body switches and by the third day I crave fish and that's all I'll eat when I'm in Hawaii. Not the first two days, the first two days I'll eat like hamburgers and just regular food, but then something happens and all of a sudden like I have to eat fish. And then when I come back from Hawaii for the first two or three weeks, that's usually the one I'll come to Skomas. There's another one up the road. You know what? It might actually be called Skomas. 
right. So, a little view over here again. Moving up. Oh yeah, so it's called Spinnaker's, the other restaurant. I just walked in there. So, for some reason I thought they were both schools. Which would be kind of weird because it's so close together. So yeah. Awesome. Dude, it's so nice today. Alright, so the restaurant right in front of us is called the Barrel House. That is mm, it's not super expensive. Now Skomas and Spinnaker, that's kind of expensive, so <laughs> it's uh it's expensive. The one in front of us is probably about, you know, you can get like a burger and fries and whatever for about 25 bucks and then you know fish meals and other stuff around 30 35 so it's not bad it might be a little bit less the burger might actually be 17 bucks with fries something like that so anyways you'll find your way around here if you come to now i'm gonna give you a little secret so first of all this is where a lot of people hang out and over here is where you can park for free i'll get to that in a second You know what I love coming down here for? All the different accents. They were from Sweden, I believe. Honestly, I'm not sure what that accent was, but European of some sort. And the really cool thing is when, when that uh, high tide comes up, it comes all the way up here. So until then, you can walk down there. I'm gonna actually walk out there. I'm kind of surprised, usually every day, this is the first time in my life that I've been here, no one's out here. It is a work day. It's Friday. It's about noon. And it is starting to warm up. Tide's low right now, so. Yeah, Barrel House is kind of fun. Freaking awesome. God, I'm going to jump in the water so bad, but probably a little bit low. Alright, so I'm going to get you to Oh, by the way, there's a ton of meter mates down here, so make sure you check your time when you park, etc. And there's parking places where you can park. You know, the charger, I don't know, whatever. Generally, when I come down, and you can only, and again, it's about two hour parking. So you go up that road, so this is Bridgeway Run now. And this road is called Princess. And you go up that road. I'll show you. So you go up that road and right around the curve, it curves around that building. There's generally free parking pretty much about a quarter mile up. If that matters. So we have all kinds of shops like this. Call that the Christmas shop over here. So, I need that too much reflection. Thanks for the mail. You know what's funny? There's a, here it is. It's called Napa Valley Burger. When I came down here with my niece, she got all pissed off. She goes, There's no such thing as Napa Valley Burger. Everyone, because we're from Napa, she goes, everyone just puts their freaking dang Napa on there. And so I walked in there and asked him, you know, is there any affiliation in Napa? And he said no. <laughs> so I thought it was kind of funny. Like, well, there's tons of t-shirt shops. There it is. La 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 Lakers ice cream. That is world famous. And the funny thing is they have another one about a half a block up here. So they got two on the same block. Good ice cream, by the way. I don't know how much further I'm going to walk. So the downtown's really short. It pretty much ends at that light. There's a couple more stuff, but this is like the tourist area right here. But it pretty much does end up there. Let's go this way. Oh, God. Can I be too, too, too cheap? I'm out of business. That's kind of sad. Or they're just doing a major remodel. So they tore the whole thing out. So yeah, I'm gonna go in here. It's gonna be the end of our Sausalito Golden Gate Bridge tour. 
hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm uh, kind of holding something in the other hand, so it might be a shaky. My arms are really tired. Yeah, there's the other restaurant over there. It's, um, there's a yacht club that's over there. I already forget the name. I said it earlier. Enjoy.